Hello everyone, my name is Anya and today I'm going to share with you 5 life hacks on how to sound more like a native speaker. These 5 tips I'm going to talk about based on my own life experience and observation while I've been living in the United States of America. Let's get started! I would like to begin with greetings. There are multiple ways how Americans greet each other. I believe each of you remembers saying good morning, good afternoon in school. Good morning, good morning to you and you and you. But in real life, you won't hear these phrases very often because they are formal ways to greet people. You may hear them when you enter an office or hotel restaurant. Some common and informal ways to greet people are... Hey, buddy. What are you up to? What's up, Joey? <laughs> How you doing? Let me share my personal story with you. It was May 2015. It was my first working day in America. One lady came to me and asked, Hey, how are you doing? I was extremely excited that she wondered how I was doing. So I answered, Hello. I'm doing well. I had a horrible Slavic accent that time. I was ready to tell her how my life was going on, but I noted that she was not really interested. After some period of time, I realized that hey, how are you doing is one of the greeting forms, and it does not mean that you have to describe in details what is going on in your life, what you were doing yesterday, or what are your plans for tomorrow are? You can simply say, I'm doing well, fine. What are you up to? And please do not tell I'm doing good because it is a mistake. Another fascinating thing I'd noticed while living in the USA is American intonation. Hi, what's up? How are you? I suppose stress is more important than sounds because stress relates to risk and intonation. American really like to emphasize the stressed syllable and make other syllables very weak. Let's look at the word intonation. We do not say intonation, but we say intonation. Try to think about not just separate sound, but overall melody of the speech. Try different intonations. It was the one-armed man. I did it, you hear? And I'm glad. Glad, I tell you! What? Do not speak like a machine robot with no flavor any changes in your speech. It's gonna be extremely dull. Typically, when we are asking yes or no questions, our intonation is going up. For example, could you help me with this project, please? Would you like to go to the movie theater tonight? Do you know how is it working? Have you ever seen any American TV shows? There are a bunch of examples. One more thing, open your mouth. Open your mouth. Otherwise, it's gonna be so hard for English to be natural and clear to understand. When you start practicing this, opening your mouth, you may feel like an actor or actress in the movie, like a fish out of the water. The reason is quite obvious and simple. Our native languages, Ukrainian and Russian, do not require this. For instance, it would sound quite bizarre if you were trying to say the word man and man without a wide opening of your mouth. Man, man, probably it's even impossible. Please pay attention to wide opening your mouth where it is mandatory. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, I forgot about these. Another thing for those who would like to sound more like a native speaker, use idioms. What is idiom? An idiom, it is phrase or expression that has figurative and sometimes literal meaning. Frequently, you can get confused by trying to translate idiom word by word. Sometimes it does not make any sense, so you have to know the meaning that stands behind each idiom. How to learn idioms? There are some tips. The first one 
If you see idiom in the context, either it's magazine, book or newspaper, try to understand the whole concept. This will help you to understand the idiom itself. For instance, he talks to his cousins once in a blue moon on the phone. Means he talks to them rarely. A lot of idioms can be found in font. You can download lyric, have a look at the song and find idiom. You've probably heard Adele's phone Water Under the Bridge. Water under the bridge means it's all in the past, it cannot be changed. And of course, there are a lot of useful applications. English Idiom Illustrated, Idiom Lands, Idiom Light. I want you to remember one fact. Every human being is a lazy creature. And guess what? Americans are not exception to this rule. They are trying to do everything to decrease the amount of work that needs to be done. Okay, let's see my to-do list. Gotta work, gotta work, gotta work, gotta work, gotta work. Consequently, it affects language as well. When natives speak, they pronounce a few words and even the whole sentence as if they were one long word. If you want to sound more natural, you should try to do this too. To illustrate that, I'm going to talk about linking. We have different number of words in the sentence and oftentimes we link them together. And we omit some of the sounds. You've probably heard the phrase, have a good day. Good day. Some I think so. Some I think so. It is so hot today. It is so hot today. Lincoln is a crucial part of smoothing your language and sounding more like a native speaker. So you should try it. Last but not the least, relax. I often say to my students, in order to correct mistake, you have to make it. First, you made a mistake without realizing it. He must read. You unconsciously made a mistake. He must read. Secondly, realization has to happen. So it's either you learn modal verbs and get familiar with the rule that there is no to after modal verbs, or someone tells you about your mistake. And afterward, from time to time, you start noticing that you're making this mistake consciously and try self-correction. Thirdly, you know the right way to say this sentence. Every time when it comes to saying it, you think there is no two after modal verbs and you do not make this mistake anymore. Firstly, you've said this sentence so many times that there is no need to think about this rule anymore. You do it automatically. So please, Relax and let yourself make mistakes. Especially if you are just starting to practice your English speaking skills, it is vital to let yourself speak. Yes, of course. Again, you can have some mistakes and that's totally fine. Let yourself do it. Do not be afraid. No one is going to judge you. People just want to know what are you trying to tell them. You're trying to tell me something. A short personal story. When I just came to the United States of America, I was more than 100% sure I know English. However, knowing and using the language are completely different stories. In order to sound more natural, you have to make an effort and relax because our brain functions in two modes focus mode and diffuse mode. In the first one, focus mode. It is so hard for our brain to create smooth language because it focuses on one thing. Let's say you're concentrating on using correct grammar tenses and it is complicated for your brain to make logical and clear speech. As a result, we're going to have pauses while communicating and our speech is going to be choppy and artificial. In the second diffuse mode, it is much easier for our brain to find what we need and to combine all the knowledge we have. So please relax and let yourself speak. See you later! My name is Anya and today we are going to a video. <laughs> Hello everyone! Третий раз записываем. Over there, где? За морем, over there.
Мне кажется, да прям душа наружу вышла. Понятно, что не Маус соседа. Ничего ну, говорить, ё Маус. Ё, палы соберись. Да я тут такая, о, Ран, ты добрый, я все пошла танцевать, забыли все. И так бам-бам-бам. Я под воду ушла. Прием, прием. Но мы уже ускоряемся, потому что. Ну, камон. Это сильно грубо? Ну да, так юби. Пальцы свои трогай, но ну, нельзя так делать. Же тренер потом посмотрит, скажет, Аня, елы, палы, 25 часов, и продолжаешь дальше делать то же самое. Искренне получилось. А, это все записывалось? Прикол.